Robert Gibson work at G4S. First job was for 11 years. That was for Cobra Security Services, very good company. Working outdoors, which I thoroughly enjoyed. And then I've done G4S for three, three years. It's nice to be around people and just making sure I'm uh, creating a safe and secure environment. Working outdoors, right in the middle of the countryside, you know, so got to experience all elements of weather and ah, that was mainly the outdoors, really. Basically knowing what you've got to do, it's, it's just a case of keeping a safe and secure environment, really. Being vigilant, aware, as long as you study and you've done the courses, obviously, and you know, you'll know what to do, you know. Looking after your work colleagues, radio in hand, and I just being vigilant. Used to be 12 and a half hours, which was good. I enjoyed the hard work. Now it's been, now it's eight and a half hours, so a bit more diversity there. But I enjoyed the 12 and a half hour shifts. Good way to make money in the security. There's a lot of hours there. It's just whether some people like it, some people don't. At the moment, it's just basically being in the job centre, like I say, being very vigilant, noticing when there might be trouble. Could be a 70 year old woman. It's not necessarily all the big men and stuff that cause the trouble. So yeah, just I just constantly vigilant. You've got to keep your mind focused throughout the whole shift. It's always been suitable for me, yeah, it's I. I've made a lot of money doing it. There's a lot of different aspects, a lot of different jobs, variety. Try to see it from their point of view. Like I say, the main thing for me is that everybody's safe including obviously the customer, you know, so try and see it from their point of view, try to understand the situation, that's half the battle. I was on one site where the, there was lads having a Christmas party, so I was making sure the office was had to be secure, nobody was allowed to be in there, so that's what I was told. So I went up in there, tried to say, well, we're just here for because we work here on the computers, we're allowed in here and stuff like that. I said, well, you're not mind giving us your names. But then the next night they were there again, some of them with the party Christmas hats on and stuff. And then they give false names. One of them did, which was actually one of the head bosses of the whole company. So he got dragged into the, his superior officers and every, you know, so it escalated. But yeah, the, the original culprit got found out for giving false names and stuff. It's basically just the SIA license that you need for the for the security. Then they make me top up courses every three years or some, something, you know. Yeah, you learn quite a bit. So I, it's used to, I only done like it was a four day course, but that was back in 2009. So like I say, it's good just like anything. You do the course, you know how to do your job. So lectures are really good. They give you all the information you need to pass the exam. So it's, it's pretty easy enough to do.